minutes. Now to the latest in the war in Ukraine. President Biden today asking Congress for an additional $33 billion in military and humanitarian aid for that war-torn country. That's more than twice as much as the president's last request for Ukraine funding from Congress. Said the president, we're quoting now, the cost of this fight is not cheap. The aid will include artillery and armored vehicles, increased cyber defense systems and equipment to help detect and clear landmines. And just into the Eyewitness Newsroom, this video circulating on social media showing an explosion after a Russian missile strike on the capital city of Kyiv. A series of missile strikes hit the city today as a UN Secretary General was there. He met with President Putin, remember, earlier this week. The war, catastrophic for the people of Ukraine, millions of whom have been displaced, with most of them leaving the country. The majority went to Poland where they have tried to find housing and find work. I was news reporter Josh Reiner tonight at a factory where some have found jobs, a factory owned by a man from New Jersey. Josh is in Krakow, Poland's second largest city. Josh. Well, Bill, as Poland's second largest city, before all of this madness, the population was about three quarters of a million people. Now it's up 100,000 because of all the refugees who have flooded into this city. So what are they to do while they're here? One expat from New Jersey had an idea. You don't need to speak Ukrainian to understand heartache. Don't need a translator to hear abject sorrow. Olana and Natalia are among countless Ukrainian women forced to make impossible choices, gathering their kids but abandoning everyone and everything else in their lives to flee the bloodshed in the place they call home. They had a normal life one month ago. Their husbands and sons and fathers are walking around with AK-47s defending their country, and they're here every single day wondering if they're safe. John Lynch grew up in Sayreville, New Jersey, but as a young businessman invested in a post-Cold War Poland, building a company called Linka, which would become one of Europe's largest t-shirt printing factories. For tonight, the stability he helped build is under a new threat from Vladimir Putin, who's cutting off the flow of Russian oil into Poland in retaliation for its military assistance to Ukraine. Poland insists the supply is stable and gas prices, like in the U.S., are already sky high. In the first two weeks after this started, I found myself breaking into tears about three or four times a day. But the future of his adopted home is the last thing on John Lynch's mind. Instead... And when I saw that, I said, I have to do something here. I need to help the people. He already had hundreds of employees, but in the last month hired 50 more. All of them Ukrainian refugees like Olana, who left her floral design business near Kyiv when her daughter was almost killed in a Russian airstrike, and who now has a new job, new stability, in a terrifying time. I want to say thank you, all people who helped me in Poland, and it gives me strength to, strength to live here. Strength and at least a little bit of hope in all of this darkness. Uh, John has started a foundation. He's hoping American businesses can help contribute to get supplies to the people who need the help the most. We also, an hour ago, introduced you to a Forest Hills native who's in charge of the Jewish Community Center here in Krakow. He also is soliciting donations. That information is available at ABC 7 and why. We are here to tell lots of stories. There are stories everywhere you look here in Krakow, but the primary reason we're here is because Timothy Cardinal Dolan is also on the way here. He will be touring refugee camps both here in Poland and in neighboring Slovakia and visiting members of a Catholic mission that he is involved with back in New York. We will be here for his arrival tomorrow uh, morning in New York time, and we will have the very latest for you starting tomorrow on Eyewitness News at noon.